Hey, flautists and flagships, my name is TB Skyne, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, where we have done pirate stuff on the high seas, and we're about to return to the sky, although I'm not really... Do I have an... All, I have full on of bombs? Okay, cool. We're about to return to the sky, after I deal with this bastard. There we go. Uh, to see what might be new up there. Some stuff might be new. It'd be nice if some stuff was new. We should go check in on uh, Fledge to see how he's doing with all the drugs we've been giving him. <laughs> Maybe give him some more drugs. Who knows? Play it by ear. I guess see if, uh, if Beetle has uh, another wallet for us. We can get enough wallets to get the final pouch that he has. <laughs> no more wallets? Oh. Oh. 16 f oh. you. Oh. Absolute no, you can just drop me out of your trap door now, kid. Sixteen hundred. Go to hell. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not when you won't even sell me an extra goddamn wallet to put that money in. I need a lot of extra wallets. How about you? You got any extra wallets? I could do with some extra wallets. Nope. Then where in the heck would I get more wallets, then? If Beetle won't sell them. Need bird feathers. Where would I get bird feathers? Somewhere, I'm sure. How would I upgrade the bow? Tumbleweeds, okay. Hmm. Upgrade your wooden bow to an iron bow with increased attack power. I would actually rather like that. Honestly. I might have to go get tumbleweeds somehow. Huh, I could upgrade the beetle. Don't think I need it to progress anywhere, so, you know. Okay, I guess... I guess we're going... Huh? I report, Master. Because of the improvements to your sword, you can now use your dowsing ability to locate treasure. Please use the additional entry in your dowsing target list at your leisure and convenience. Oh, sweet. There is no treasure. Treasure does not exist. Oh. 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 Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis. Hello, little one. Let me take you away from all this. Yeah! <laughs> you caught one skull of mantis. These bugs catch prey with their sharp doors. They're often seen up above the clouds. Collection complete! Where's my treat? Up, up, and away! Treasure chest! Just one more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any other goddess chests that have unlocked here? Didn't look like it. Okay, well, let's go find Fledge then. Well, he wants a third one. All good things come in threes. Hmm, he's being quiet. I mean, I'll be honest, Fledge, you seem to be doing pretty well for yourself. 3,985, 3,986, 3,997, 3,988. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that was a nice warm up. Hey, Link. I was just hoping you'd come by. I wanted to ask you something. The other day, I tried lifting some barrels, and I was able to do it with one arm. Do you think that means I've got enough muscle? What do you think, Link? Do I look strong? For sure. Really? Thanks. I'm so happy. It's all thanks to you, Link. 
I would have gotten discouraged if you hadn't come by to cheer me on. You gave me motivation and also drugs. Thank you so much, Link. That's five. I could just keep going and going. Next, I'm going to train so hard that I can lift the barrel with one finger. Well, I am glad, kid, that uh, you have developed a positive relationship with your body. I hope. I hope. And not uh, some kind of unhealthy obsession with... Uh, with gains and muscle growth, because, because that could that, that that could be bad. The lovebirds seem fine. <laughs> it's over. It's all over. Uh, what do you want, Link? Have you come to laugh at me in my miserable state? Just leave me alone. What are you doing in Groose's room? I mean, I want to have sympathy with a kid, but... I don't. <laughs> the worst thing is, I'm not sure he'll learn anything from this. Like, I'm not sure he'll, like, think, Oh, you know what? Like, maybe in order to... For people to be willing to see me as a potential romantic partner, maybe I should be like kind and and treat other people like, for example, Link with respect and you know show myself to be capable of of emotional maturity and understanding. But but uh, boys like that don't learn that lesson. What he's gonna like? He's absolutely if if like he had the internet. He would be on Reddit right now on some incel forum complaining about how girls only go for the asshole jocks. They never go for the nice guys. Um, and getting indoctrinated into some MRA cult about how alphas and betas and omegas and orbiters and sigma males and all the rest. Like the people trying to sort of construct a pseudoscientific explanation for a phenomenon that is perfectly easy to understand without any of that like made up bullcrap like it's, it's like people trying to make up these imaginary systems of like oh yeah there's a system like you can game the system like if, if you if you do the pickup artist thing and you neg the girl for 10 minutes and then tell her she's pretty and then you brain manipulate her inner juice hormones into being in love with you like all of that shit. and it's all this attempt to gamify and and like create this manipulable rules based system for insecure nerds to latch on to as sort of a formula to solve what they perceive as as their social problems and it's so, and it is seductive. Like I remember being being the kind of kid who would be vulnerable to that thing. It is seductive. It's seductive to think that, like, okay, there, here's a method, and if I follow the method, then like if I put the the if I do the correct steps, then I will be rewarded with the thing that I want, which in this case is, you know, another human being's care and attention and affection, which is not. Which is not something you can be rewarded with that way. That's not how it works. But you know, when especially when you're raised as a man, you 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 do come to expect that like sort of everything exists for you and for your benefit to us to some extent or another. Like it, everything is for you in one way or another. It can also be for other people, but it is for you. All of the things, everything is for you, right? And so when you come into a situation where all of a sudden you can't have the thing you want for some reason that you don't understand, i.e. there's another human being with agency involved, what you start to naturally look for is, okay, I must have done, like, I must have, I must have not, like, played the game correctly. Like, I must, I must have not, like, I must have done something the wrong way around. Oh, there's another treasure chest out here already now. And one down here. Okay, I should, should go and collect those. Like, you, you sort of look for these sort of 
you, you look for those sorts of explanations rather than an explanation that would require you to fundamentally change how you relate to other people but one that that allows you to hold on to basically your entitlement like that that allows you to hold on to your entitlement that like no 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 this is still for me like th these things are still naturally mine it's just that i didn't do the right steps in order to get them it's not that there it's not that this doesn't belong to me it's that i input the incorrect cheat code in order to obtain the thing it's that i i, I didn't complete the level correctly right which is a, it's it's a very seductive way of thinking because it requires absolutely no change in you. It just requires you to change, um, like the steps that you're taking, rather than change your approach as a human being or your thinking about it. Like it doesn't require you to develop any empathy, right? Which is what makes it so seductive because it's easy. It's the dark side in literal, very literal terms. Well, that's a little inconvenient. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep in my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place at the edge of time. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must claim another sacred gift. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will most certainly find the path to the sacred flames. Now, I bestow upon you another melody. Let it serve as a key to unlocking your final trial. It awaits you upon Elden Volcano. According to my records, that song you just heard is called Din's Power. Use this song of might to locate the last trial. I have committed Din's Power to my memory. Now you have the ability to use Dowsing to locate the gate to the final trial. I suggest you travel to Elden Volcano. But yeah, like TLDR, like like MRA and insult sh that that propaganda works because it appeals to an idea of how the world would like how things would be easier for you rather than to how you can become better. Right? It's like it it tells you that that you just need to lower the like essentially you just need to lower the difficulty level rather than actually learn how to be a better player, to use gaming terms. You, I, I do feel like there is a need to not necessarily sympathize or, like, feel pity for people who get trapped in it because, like, they do and say awful things which they should be held accountable for. But there is a need to understand why that sh works. Because it's not accidental. And if you don't, like, if you don't understand how it works, it can be, it becomes harder to get people out of it. At least I think so. Like, I think if you understand where, like, what emotional vulnerabilities that sh takes advantage of, it becomes a lot easier to teach boys not to fall for it. Not to, f not, like, not to allow those thought patterns into their heads. 
Because that's ultimately the problem, is that, like, boys are not... And I know this out of experience, that, like, boys and men are not taught to think critically about themselves in that way. Like, they're not really taught to question any part, really, of their own experience. And it sucks. It sucks. Because it means when you grow up, like, when you finally do grow up, <laughs> there you begin to realize just the sheer scope and scale of... of how much work you have to do on yourself to become, like, a... <laughs> like, a real person, almost. Like, to really sort of become... To become human. And treat other people like humans. And it sucks. Wait, can't you lower yourself? No? Okay. Potion metal! Well, neat. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, I just have to... Aha! I get it. Another life medal. Okay, now what? Well, that's... Oh my god. Oh my god, I have to jump. Oh no. Okay. Time to get the Joy-Cons out. Okay. There we go. You're coming with me, buddy. For insurance. <laughs> and another heart medal. Back to Pro Controller. Is that all of them? Right, we could go and do the sword swinging minigame, but like... I have to assume that we won't actually be able to properly win that until we have the fully powered up sword, so let's just leave that for now. And flap our way over to the volcano! Okay. Now we need to think, like, where... Where would there be one of those treasure hunting mini games or one of those sneaky, sneaky mini games? Probably at the temple entrance? Like, I guess? Yes, I know, dowsing. Nope, down to the bottom of the mountain. Okay, then. I was just trying to think in terms of, like... Like, where would there be enough floor space, essentially, to, to do a scavenger hunt? But... Okay, then. This way, I guess. Is 
Down the air. Okay. Nice. Oh, hey. There's an old friend. No, oh, hey, we meet again. How you been, bud? I rumbled over here because I heard somebody has spotted goddess cubes in the area. You may have already found some, but I have a feeling there's others hidden away around here. You might think ser for searching for them for yourself when you get the time. Master. Okay, we can use dowsing to find goddess cubes. That is actually genuinely very useful. Okay, then. For now, though, over there. All right. Yeah, okay, actually, yeah, this place actually makes more sense for such a scavenger hunting thing. I guess, begrudgingly, I'll admit. Isn't that where I came from? Oh, no, no, it's not. Colonel, it's time for another stealth mission. Yes, I know. Here we go again. Oh my god, what? No. All the way up the mounts? Oh my god. Oh no. All the way up the mountain? No questions, just despair. Okay. So there's one up there we can get relatively easily. Except we have to go past a ghost to get it, so I don't know how easily really it is, but... Uh... Alright. Yeah, 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 I get it. I get it. I know! I know! Okay, uh, come over here. And then go away. Go away, go away, go away. Okay. Well, I don't have any tools in here, so... Uh, gonna have to... Okay, so that's my way up the mountain, right? Yeah. Let's do that now, immediately. I don't have a sailcloth. Like, how the hell am I flying? <laughs> okay, jo don't jump in that water. Refresh the 90 seconds. We're gonna have to do this multiple times, aren't we? Oh, f oh, f oh, f oh, sh oh, God! Okay, um. Give me an overview here. No? No, it's just the middle route over here? No! No, 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 Link! You son of a bitch! 
But yeah, we're gonna have to do this multiple times anyway. Okay, fine. I accept it. No! Don't touch the weird water! Okay, right, well... Back up, I guess. I'm gonna leave that one there. I might need it to recover time next time I get down here. Okay, all right. And try real hard not to slide into the water. The ghost water. Middle path. Yeah, no! Oh, God! Fuck! Other middle path, I guess. No! Link, get back in the water. It's useful now. Hey! Well, that could have gone worse. Is that all of them up on the mountain? Oh, it better be. Now we go and get this one. And then we get that to let us know where else we need to go. Okay. Uh, how the hell do you get... Oh, I see. Right, but it kind of seems like that one's going to get difficult to bypass. Okay, move, 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 move. Okay. Leave that one for when we come back. Oh, God, okay. Link, how do you keep swinging past? Okay, let's just... We are halfway there. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, they're all up there, so... Need to find a way to get there. Nope. Where does he go back now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that 90 seconds, um... That 90 seconds is about to expire, and possibly so am I. How the fuck do I get back up there? Oh, right through the cave. Oh, no. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. Because every ghost on the map is going to be gunning for me now. Okay, I can... Uh, okay. No? Can't knock it over like that? Go back to your position. How do I... 
get over there then how do I how, how do I mm, okay this way I guess yes 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 okay that's another 90 seconds to try and get up this hill where I'm hoping yes the last bits are probably are Okay, uh, if you could just fuck off. Oh, if you could all just fuck off, that would be good. No! Oh, good. Great. This is a great choice. Ah! Okay, the last one's up there. Ooh. Leave me alone. Thank God. Okay. I have all the time in the world now to uh get back down past the ghosts here that are still actively hunting me. And which will reactivate the guardians if I'm not careful. <laughs> Fuck you. I win. I win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. First try. I wasn't nervous, not for a second. You got the Fire Shield Earrings. With these, you can stand any heat without a sweat. This is one of the three sacred gifts left by the goddess. Well, that's nice. A little less useful than claw shots, but okay. Link got the Varia suit. <laughs> you better be wearing them. Yeah! Welcome back, Master. I conjecture your nearly acquired Fire Shield Earrings will allow you to tra safely travel in extremely hot areas. And we know where the extremely hot area in question is, don't we? You're my friend now. La da da dee. La da da da. I have a status update for you, Master. We are now near the crater at the peak of Elden Volcano. I am detecting extremely high temperatures in this area. However, your fire shield earrings will allow for extended periods of exploration. I calculate the probability of finding the final sacred flame here at 90%. I recommend searching for flames. Should, shouldn't be too hard to find that in a volcano. Flames. Pretty abundant in supply. Also these frickin' slimes. Right, how? Okay. No. Let's not do that. Okay, so how do I get to that goddess cube, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. Do I have to knock over those pillars or something? Do I get another ball to roll around? I wonder. Okay, then. Well, we have done the thing and obtained the other thing. And so now we are at the place where the last of the things that we need for the thing are located. 
which is probably a fairly decent place to cut an episode. So if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of Skyward Sword with me and watching me just coolly and competently without any fear or worry whatsoever ace my way through that sneaking mission, you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. That'll let you know when new episodes are up, uh, made live on the channel. But if you want to know when the episodes are uploaded and you want to watch Skyward Sword, more Skyward Sword, right now, right this second, well, memberships are available on the channel for that specific purpose. It will give you early access to episodes as they're uploaded. You won't have to wait for them to go live. Uh, so it also helps me pay for the editor who helps make these videos, trust me, believe me, substantially better <laughs> than they otherwise would be. Oh, especially if you watched the last episode. Good lord. Um, but yeah, I also have a Patreon, a merchandise store, and a tip jar that helps me pay my rent and stuff, but if you are not in a position to be able to use any of those monetization options, or you just don't want to, you absolutely do not have to. It is more than enough that you watched the video this far. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to wear a mask, wash your hands, take the vaccine, but also, get your flu shot. There is a flu shot available. You can get it. It's pretty cheap. In a lot of places, it can be free, especially if you have a chronic condition. Get your flu shot. It's one of the best things you can do to help in the middle of a pandemic is to make sure that you don't get sick and need medical care because then that medical care can be, you know, spent on dealing with this fucking pandemic. So get the flu shot. Like, even if you feel like, oh, flu is not a big deal. No, it's not a big deal. It's probably not going to kill you or anything, but it can still cause you to need medical attention or go to hospital. And if you do that, then you can get exposed to COVID. And if you have the flu already and get COVID on top of it, like, it's a bad scene. You don't want to just don't want to get the flu. Get the flu shot instead. Take the pressure off the healthcare system and don't get sick. Added bonus. Don't get sick. Not getting sick. Pretty big bonus for me, frankly. So, yes, flu shot. I I've decided to shill for the flu shot because, like, it's a vaccine you can get that'll help in a little way, and you won't get sick, which is good. Bonus, I feel that that's a public service announcement. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, as I say at the end of my videos, try to act with solidarity towards those who are worse off than yourself.